Hi grade 12 student. So in this video, I want to do most of the important question that most of the student ignore. And when you write your final examination, guys, you are going to find this question. If you don't find it, just come back to this video and tell me that you didn't find it. So this question, guys, is under paper one. So please make sure that you watch until the end so that you're going to learn something uh, on this simple question and also guys you know that yes we are accounting solution sa but also make sure that you subscribe on this e-learning solution sa channel because we are growing another channel that are going to help your younger brothers your younger sisters in all different subject so that they can keep learning and pass with good mark so do a favor by subscribing so that we can also grow this channel like accounting solution SA. Okay, so let's start with this question. Is corporate governance? Okay, the reason why we're doing this question is because we want understanding. 4.1, the company directors expected to identify and take account of legitimate expectation of the stakeholders. Let's first understand who is the stakeholders. Guys, stakeholders, we're gonna list most two important one number one we have shareholders number two investors so these are the most important stakeholders that you need to to know as well as employees and other people they are also stakeholders but these two they are very important okay number one, provide two consequences of neglecting the expectation of the stakeholder by the company. Okay, if the directors did something which is not good for a company, what are the consequences that can arise? How is these two are going to, have to be affected? That's what we need to answer in this uh, question. Okay, number one. Obviously, guys, those who invested into this company, which are shareholders, shareholders are going to lose confidence in a company. Guys, obviously, if the company has a lot of story, a lot of dramas, is everywhere on the newspapers. Obviously, the shareholders are going to lose what? A trust. Some of them, they are going to buy back their shares, which is not good for a company. Okay. Number two, uh, this can cause a lawsuit. This can cause a lawsuit. Imagine uh, someone just invested yesterday to become a shareholder. And uh, he found that everything, uh, it was misleading. The information provided was wrong. He can do what? A lawsuit. Investor can issue a lawsuit. Okay. It was four marks, which means that we must list two. Okay. Two mark each. 4.2. The very important question as well is audit report. Uh, we have to match column A and column, column B. 4.2.1, we have qualified, unqualified, and disclaimer. We have to match them. When we talk about qualified, guys, qualified report, you know that is a midly one. Let's start by unqualified. Unqualified is a good report with no issue. Okay? Then the second one, we have qualified which it has some issue but it's okay but there is some issue that need to be fixed okay and the worst one is disclaimer of opinion disclaimer guys is reckless a lot of corruption everything was done wrong it's not even according to accounting standard it's called disclaimer of opinion now let's match them number a we are not able to obtain sufficient evidence to provide for audit opinion accordingly we do not express an opinion on the financial statement of sweet ltd for the year ended this one obviously guys 
uh, is going to be number A is going to be disclaimer 1.3. Disclaimer. Okay. Number B. Expected for effect of the unauthorized bonus uh, to the CEO and the annual financial statement presented fairly in all material respect the financial position. It's only one issue of bonus, but the rest it was okay. This one is qualified. Okay. <laughs> number B. Then the last one, which is number C, obviously. An annual financial statement fairly represented in all material. This is unqualified. Unqualified is very fair. So you must understand these three because they are very simple. Let's go to the next one. 4.3. Which type of audit report will encourage shareholders to buy share? Which one do you think you can you can you can be encouraged to buy share if the share, uh, the, 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 the audit has issued this report obviously guys is unqualified because it's very fair and everything is correct okay 4.3 a and obviously is unqualified audit report this is the only one that yes everyone can choose uh, to invest a company into okay number b explain why it is important for an independent auditor to be member of professional board why do you think it's important for this uh, independent auditor to be professional board guys you can you can't be using someone as an auditor who is not registered anywhere it doesn't make sense you can't take anyone from the street we want someone who is registered. Okay. Number one. Those who are registered, guys, they act. They act in ethical manner. They act in ethical manner. Okay. Number two. Assurance to the public. There is assurance. Someone who, who is registered or who is professional, you have a full trust. There is an assurance that he is going to do everything correct. Okay. And the other one, the last one, these independent auditors that are registered, they are aware of new regulations. They are always updated with the new law that has been issued. So if you use someone who is not, is not registered, which means that they are not even attending uh, a meetings of updated information and so on and so on. So someone must be registered so that he can become independent auditor. Okay, moving to the next one. Extract from the article in the Saturday News. Employees of Rea Viva LTD received a 10% increase in their salary for the year end 2022, while CEO received increase of 45%. The employee were not happy about the salary increase different. Imagine you only got 10% increase and someone increase of 45%. Okay. And uh, Reviver LTD defended the decision pointing out that it was approved by remuneration committee after careful consideration were made. Okay. Explain the role of remuneration committee and give three points. Why we should have a remuneration committee? People who decide who must be paid how much. Why do we, should we have this committee? Okay. 4.4 Number one their role is to review salaries and bonuses. Guys, before salaries and bonuses issued, this committee decide and approve these bonuses and salaries. Number two, 
is to prevent directors from paying themselves too much cash. Obviously, guys, if there is no this committee, directors were going to pay themselves a lot of money. Okay? And the, the last one is to detect a fraud. To detect any fraud made by directors. So they make sure that each and every year end they check how much was paid to each and every employee of the company so that they can detect if there was something wrong that has been done. So you have to study this part guys because it's very simple and straightforward. Make sure that you subscribe so that upcoming video uh, you will be notified when they are uploaded. So I hope you enjoy and those who want to join extra class is still 100 rand per month. Join us in time so that you can learn with other students. I will see you on the next upload.